Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of the Wind Waker. Let's quickly grab ourselves a heart, and now let's pull these blocks out of the way so that we can actually get into the dungeon. Whenever you save an exit inside of a dungeon, you always return to the entrance whenever you re-enter your profile. And yeah, so you need to make sure you either create shortcuts so you can get further in faster again, or you just do it in one continuous run. Oh hey, Troy Pendant, very nice. Okay, let's also take this flaming stick because why not? So I believe there's also a, um, a torch over there if we needed to relight it. Light these two torches and a chest appears. We also have this pot here that we can hop into. Like that. And it spits us out again. So that's pretty cool. But let's grab this chest because it has a small key. Inside of dungeons you'll get small keys which are used to open locked doors. You can use it only in the dungeon you get them from. There's also these different uh, pots over here for the water pots. So you get a little splash of water out of them. Not that that's extremely helpful to us, but still. It's cool. Let's open up this door and use our key. Now it's gone. Now we need more keys. Let's just break through that with our sword. And this is the main room of the dungeon. Dungeons typically have a main room where you go back to to progress things back and forth. So we need a key before we can go that way. So let's go this way instead then. Since there's not really anywhere else we can go. Since there's a boulder on the other side. Let's pull that up. Now we can go up here. Okay, and we need to be careful not to get hit by the lava. I don't think we can. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. I don't know. Why risk it when I can blow up this rock over here? Just need to avoid the keys that are attacking me. Okay. And now, these water jars do actually have a use because if you throw them onto water, no, onto lava, they make a little platform. The platform won't stay around forever though, so you need to be quick to use it and get off of it. But anyway, we get the dungeon map. So now we can view this dungeon's map. Since it's a separate dungeon, each dungeon needs its own map. And there's a lot to this dungeon compared to the Forsaken Fortress. So we'll see how this goes then. I might just play it safe. Yeah, that seems like a good plan since the other platform just disappeared. Let's go up here. There's also a new enemy here, a Choo Choo, which likes to knock you off the ladder. If you kill it though, it drops its special item by default. And we get a red Choo Choo jelly to put in our spoils bag. This uh, gelatinous goo comes from a deep within red Choo Choo's. It is effective as uh, a cure for exhaustion, but it can't be used in its current state. So yeah, also joy pendants can be dropped by their own uh, enemies without having it to be inside of the orb. But that's what we got it from on the raft, so. Also, this guy just slashed through these wooden things, and our sword wouldn't have done that. So his sword is actually stronger than ours in that kind of way, because it can actually break these that aren't these wooden beams, panel things that aren't uh, old rotted out, so just break that open, and actually I'm going to need that again. It's actually quite fun to throw it at things, because I think it still works, even if I throw it from a distance. Oh, hello, choose. Ow. I think I got hit, but I don't know if I took any damage. But anyway, we're going to want to grab those uh, chew jellies. I just love to throw those sword. It's so light for some reason. Got another small key. Very nice. We also have a key, a small key counter above our rupees on the bottom right. So that helps us know how many keys we have. And what to do... I guess. It's good to keep in mind how many you have. And how many locked doors you've seen. But it doesn't tell you how many locked doors you've seen. It's just You just need to keep that in mind. But anyway, we actually can, I believe... Oh, fall in the lava and then have to respawn at the door. Because that's just how I am, apparently. 
Uh, what we want to do instead of trying to stab those bombs is actually throw something at it like a pot or a rock. Which will make them explode for us, so. And now we've looped the whole first room. Let's go through the store that we saw before. And now, immediately there's a lot of chews in this room. Quite a few, apparently. Oh, they didn't drop their chew jellies. It's fine. This, this I can break with my regular sword because it's rotted out. And actually looks very different from the rest of it. But anyway, he, this guy had a sword on him, which means we can break the other side. No, he didn't have a sword. But he does have a stick. And when the stick and there's this torch here, we can light it on fire and light everything else on fire. So there we go. Which means we can actually press down the switch. Opening the door. Now, I did actually go over something over here. But we can't actually get over there because there's lava in the way, so... You can see there's a chest behind that uh, barrier, though. So we'll come back for that at some point. And for now, I think we can actually maybe cut these ropes here. It's a bad idea because it, you, the bridge will break and then you can't get across them until you reload the room by leaving on the coming... Oh, he's gone. Also, if you fall off of here, you will... Uh, it's like falling into a pit and you will have to respawn at the, the, the door. Now climb up the ladder as quickly as possible before this lava starts spraying out again. And we've also got this guy here, whose name I don't actually know what you're called. I would imagine a Helmorock, but I'm not entirely sure. But you also have your own special item which you're gonna give me because you dropped an orb. Now please break. Okay, good. We get a golden feather. Keep it in your spores bag. A certain strangeness emanates from the quill of this beauty shining, beautifully shining golden feather. Winged, winged girls are said to be in fact infatuated with these treasures. Cool. Anyway, let's sidle along here. Try not to go directly into the lava. The particles don't hurt you, just the main uh, thing that bursts out. So you do have a little bit of warning. Yeah, that bit there that comes out hurts you. But anyway, we need to actually grab onto this, but then not go up because we need to cross over this way. So that we can get rid of that boulder. Okay. Because up here is a bomb. We're gonna have a blast with this bomb. Perfect. Okay, now in here I believe there is a few things in here. For one thing we can pull out all these blocks. But also I believe if I'm smart, which I'm probably not. I've possibly already messed this up. No, I think I'm fine. Need to pull out all of these apparently. Unless the holes... There's a, there's a hole in here somewhere. I don't know where. I think it's on the second level. Yes, it's right back there, so let's climb up here, and then go down, or just climb up this side as well, that works. And if we crawl into this hole, we can get a few more rupees. It's really optional, but still, it's cool that there's just secrets where you can get extra rewards. Come on, and out again in the hole in the wall here. Whoa, there's actually... Oh, is there a... There's probably another one in the lower bit, isn't there? And I probably missed it. I actually didn't know there was two. That's interesting, though. It's very interesting. I could also, I guess, reload the room to check out the bottom one. So let's do that. Magically set, reset everything. As you do. I want to see what's on the bottom one. Come on. Okay, and then go in the hole. Please. There we go. What's in here? Oh, is that a yellow rupee? So there's, there's actually better rupees down here, apparently. Or just the one better... No, there's multiple better rupees down here. That's actually pretty cool. If you're paying attention, you get a better, better reward. It's not extremely better, but still... Rupees are rupees. 
But now let's just climb up here and go go to where we need to go. I don't think there's another secret, I would assume. Okay, there's also these mice rat things here, which you wanna you wanna deal with because they will steal your rupees if they hit you. Link, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? I know they are annoying, but keep your wits about you. They are only rats. Also, you're using this stone that Tetra gave us, but okay. I guess you just know how to do that. If you spread bait near their nest, they may share their store of treasure with you. Why don't you try it? Well, why don't we try it? I don't know how helpful this is going to be, but I'm going to do it. I have plenty of bait, so let's just put that right there. <gasps> Rat? Delicious! Hey, I got something real good. I'll sell it to you for real. Well, it be for you. All purpose. I can bait. I can buy p bait back from them in a ho or a hoi pair. So if I 40 rupees. Ah, uh, okay. I'm okay with this because it gave me my bait back, I guess. But I, I did have to spend the rupees for it, but it, it, it means I still have it. And could probably get more if I kept trading with them, I guess. But anyway, let's open this and get the compass. Now we can see where things are hidden on the dungeon map. So let's take a look at that. We can see there's actually another treasure chest in here. We can also see a skull on one of the floors for the boss of the dungeon. So we'll have to go take care of that. And there's two treasure chests right in front of the boss as well. Several more treasure chests on this floor and some down there as well. Gonna have to keep our eyes open. And starting off with this, we have this thing here. But we can't actually climb a ladder with this uh, flaming stick. So actually, what we need to do is set it on fire and then throw it across the room. Very cool. I don't think we can climb the ladder with it. Yeah, we just drop it. Automatically. So what's this? We get... A small key. I guess we needed that, so... Let's get out of here. It's also interesting that the the rats haven't respawned to come steal my rupees, but I guess that's a good thing for me. Now, let's head on up. And we can't go through this door because it's locked. So we need to go over here, take this thing out, and steal the key that's in its nest. I'm glad that that killed it in one here. Oh, but the feather, there it goes. Oh, sad. Oh, well. There will be more opportunities to get golden feathers. We will need more of those, just like joy pendants. Now, let me take a fire stick with me. Because over here we can light this up. And also there's just a ton of keys here now. Can you please attack better? Can you please attack better? Thank you. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab this treasure chest, which I'm pretty sure is a joy pendant. Thought so. Cool. Now, let's just burn this open. Oh, and it, the stick went out. That's interesting. Need that still. Because we need to light up these. Oh, please. Thank you. And now we can keep going. Okay back in the main room. Let's just quickly use this bomb to break this rock because this pot here should look familiar to us, especially because if we go into it now, it teleports us back into the front room. This is actually a shortcut back and forth between these two pots now. It's basically a kind of like a, a checkpoint in the dungeon Usually, like, I guess it depends, but also, I'll go into more details about it in a minute, possibly. Okay, we're locked in this room. Cool. Let's take out some of these goblins. Or bokoblins. I don't know what they're called. Oh, joy pendant. Nice. And some of them will be hiding in pots as well, so...
Get rid of you. Jump attack is a good amount of damage. Same with spin attack. Um, now... We need a few more. And I think if we roll into the wall here to make this drop, it's another one. Nice parry, but I missed. I missed my parry. How did I... Link, what's wrong with you? Take that, and we're good. Just a rupee. And that's apparently all of them, because the doors are opening. And that's how that's going to work in several places that we're going to go visit. Now, let me see what we get from lighting this other torch here. Since they dropped their weapons, which were sticks, obviously we need to use it for something. So let's get rid of that, please. Now let's see what this is. Probably not too special. Oh, it's a treasure chart. Okay. Open this chart on the map screen and, screen, and a place where treasure lies will, will be lit up. Sail to that area and then use the chart to find the treasure. We can't do this yet, but we will be able to soon. Once we do a few other things as well. So... And we'll be trying to take care of, uh, care of as many treasure charts as we can. Now, I believe this is a free joy pendant in this pot, so let's break that open. And let's m move on, I guess. How much rupees can I hold again? I don't know. I'm gonna check. I don't know if my items is gonna tell me. No, it's not gonna tell me how many rupees I can hold. Oh well. Probably at least 300. Well, so this enemy here is annoying. For many reasons. Mostly because it's on a small platform. But also because if it... If you don't kill it with just regular attack stabbing its eye... Without it being shielded by its... Um... Everything. Then... It, if it goes back in the lava, it will... Go back to normal. This is not going to work out for me. You are really annoying. Oh my goodness, you are so annoying. Ah. This enemy is in the worst spot. There we go, get it with the water, and now we can just attack it in its weakened form. Okay, now it's defeated. Cool. You can kill it in one hit if you have... You do the the parry, but it's it's a little bit difficult. But anyway, let's go over here and place a water pot on the lava. And now we're just going to wait here because we saw that there's the lava guys of the thing, I guess. I don't, I don't know what to call it. Which will actually push up the platform for us to get up to the next floor. Quite, quite a cool puzzle. It's not that hard, but it's cool. Now, there's the boss door, but we can't go in there without a boss key, and also there's lava in the way, but I think... No, maybe there isn't any uh, water pots in here. There is a bomb, though. Which allows us to break open another pot. Which works about the same as the previous two, except that they all link together, so it goes from green to blue to yellow to green again. So this one will take us back to the front room, and then the green one will take us to the blue one, the blue one will take us to this one. Okay, and they usually represent the checkpoints in the dungeon being like a third of the way through, like so the beginning, the third of the way through, and two thirds of the way through. So we're getting pretty close to the end of this dungeon. We just have a few more things we need to do. And also depending on the dungeon, they are placed differently, so. But anyway, let's go up this way. And the steps are breaking behind us, so we can't go back now. Well, I'm glad I can run faster than the platforms underneath me are breaking. But now it's time for the mid-boss, or mini-boss. With these two guys. We've only fought a few of them before, of this colour. Oh, did he drop? No, he just dropped a rupee. Take you out. But it's not over yet. Because the second part of this mini-boss is a Moblin. Being dropped in. By a bird, somehow. 
Moblins are a little bit harder to fight because they actually block. Oh my goodness, really? But you probably want to be parrying them a bit more. They also carry a spear, which you can also use. Ow. But if they don't have a weapon and you're right next to them when they get up, they will punch you and send you flying. Nice. Nice. Just need to stay back. Got you. See if I can take him out. Come on. You should be so close. There we go. Yes. Okay, Moblins have a special item that we need to be collecting se several of. The Skull Necklace. You can keep it in your spores bag. You can only get it from, as far as I'm aware, Moblins. So we have to kill a lot of Moblins to get those. This rather off-putting accessory would appear to be of little value, but shown to the right person, it is apparently of great worth. Keep that in mind. Hey, Medley. Link, you came to rescue me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found. This is terrible. Some creatures doing some, are doing awful, awful things to the great Falu's tail. That's why he's so angry. The great Falu's tail hangs down into the room right below here. There's got to be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We've got to do something, now, before it's too late. I'll go and tell everyone what's happened, happening. Here, Link, use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far. It's a device we Rito used before we evolved wings. You got the grappling hook. This was an item used by the Rito people before they had wings. Set it on the item screen, and then press that button to aim. Use this item to latch onto anything with this symbol on it. This little... I don't know, action symbol. You can even use it to hold things up from the seafloor while you're on a... on... while on your boat. Here, Link. Climb up that uh, ledge over there so I can show you something. And now you fly. But anyway, if we go up here... Grab this branch with the grappling hook. You can swing over there to get out of this area. When you aim at the branch that you can latch onto, uh, the action marker will appear. Remember that. Don't you worry about me, Link. Get going. Okay, so let's equip that. And get it out. Have a little red dot to aim with. We can use the right stick, or I think gyro controls if I'm using gamepad. Actually, that might be something in the options that you can turn on and off. But when the action marker is on something just right, we can swing across things. And you can also move around a little bit more with uh, that as well, so. It's like swinging... Uh, on the lan lanterns or any other rope we've seen before. But anyway, now that we've done that, we can go down here, which allows us to actually go further down over this way. Flu does not sound happy right now. We just passed the door that we came into this area from, so we'll get back to that boss area at some point, since that's underneath Vulu. Wonder what could possibly ha be happening then. I mean, we've already been told, but still. Okay. Back inside. <laughs> oh my goodness, this guy is in trouble. He's gonna fall off the edge. Right into the lava. It's a shame to be him right now. There's another one here that we can take out. Goodbye. And now... For killing both of those, a chest appears down below. Down below. But to get down there, we actually need to cut the bridge. There we go. And if we wanted to get back up, I believe there are water jars on the other side. Joy pendant. And there's a lava geyser right here. Maybe? 
Maybe not. Hang on. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, let's just go over here now. And let's do a spin attack in the middle to cut all three ropes at the same time. And we land down here. And now that's also going to be like an elevator. A, a mega on fire elevator, but still. Allows us to get up and down and around the dungeon. So it's quite helpful. Okay. The grappling hook also does a little bit of damage to any anything you hit with it. And there's a few other things we can do with it, depending on what enemies we fight with it. Like moblins or bow goblins. Oh my goodness. If we use the grappling hook against them, they will actually it will actually hook their items that they have, because they actually have those items with them, I, I believe. Okay. Let's get on here. This is very wobbly. And I'm surprised that it lands on the surface of the lava instead of falling into it. Zelda logic. But anyway, for swinging on that thing up here that I messed up because I fell in love from, it actually opened up the door because it's a, a weighted switch. And we are going to be very upset because there are some things in this dungeon that we can't get for a little bit now that I know of and we'll have to come back for. But in the meantime, we're actually coming up on the last treasure chest we can possibly get other than the ones in front of the boss door. So, let's go in here. And there's a special looking chest in the middle of that fire there. But we have a switch here, and this switch is actually a special switch because it can't stay down forever. So we need to get... Uh, so it, it, it's a weighted switch, again. It needs something on it to keep it down, so let's just drop this enemy on top of it, instead of Link, because if Link stood on it and moved off, it would just go back to normal. And we get... The big key, or boss key, whatever you want to call it. Use it to gain entrance to the room where the dungeon boss lurks. There's one in each dungeon, of course. And if I kill this, I don't know if the, the fire is going to come back, will it? No, but the switch does go back up again to show that it would let the fire back if it was Link. But anyway now, let's go back to the boss. Once you go back this way though, these enemies will have spawned in, so that's a little bit annoying. Ah, please grab. Thank you. This is just a little bit dangerous. Die. Get grappling hooked. I think we can also hold the ZR to stop and adjust how high we up up we are on the grappling hook as well. Okay, let's try that again. This time I will actually probably have to stop to go around the correct way. So let's just grapple that and then stop. Turn and also Nope, stop, 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 stop. Go up. Now swing. Come on. Just a bit more. And let's go. Cool, that works. Okay. There's more keys? What is this? More fire keys, that is. Because that's what these ones are. Now, can I, or can I not jump to the platform? The answer is yes, but also I nearly rolled off immediately. Quick! Okay, everything's fine. I'm just cutting this super close. Also, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Quick, get off. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, my goodness. I am doing this to myself. Okay, let's see if we can get across here quickly. Uh, I'm not going to have enough time. Just going to pop that down right there. Ah, stop. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay. For some reason, there's just a lot of things 
trying to slow me down. They're not really being very effective, but it's making me panic a little bit. Okay. Let's grapple here. Oh, I guess there's the one other item that we need to go get, probably. But there's also, luckily for me, a pot that will take us back to the beginning. So we can go get that. Okay. Let's head back to the beginning. So we can get whatever's in that, in that other chest that we couldn't get before. Because now that we have the grappling hook, we can actually get across that lava pit. Okay. 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 Oh, also with chews. Chews, you can also steal their chew jelly. Without having to kill them. So. All the things that you can do. I think it also slightly stuns them as well. But anyway, this treasure chest that we came back for has... Another treasure chart. So we need to take a look at that once we get out of the dungeon. And now we can head back to the boss by going back through the pot. My favorite sentence ever. Also, I'm going to just steal that from you, and that from you, thank you. I don't need to fight you, so I'm just going to leave you be. That one, the second one, that is. The first one's kind of gone now. Okay, green to blue. Ah, hello. How did you get here? What are you doing here? Okay, blue to yellow. And now it's time for the boss. But first, treasure. And also one other thing that is over here that we can do. Can I please- Ow! Kill you instantly. Good. What do we have here? We have... A knight's crest. Wow. All who are skilled in the ways of the sword know the value of a crest such as this. Another item, a special item that we need to be collecting. And a yellow rupee. And I believe one of these pots, or maybe two of these pots actually, I think it's, oh wow, Joy Pennant, this game is just being so nice to me right now, has a fairy. So let's use our empty bottle to, uh, I touched it. This is why there's a second one. Put it in a bottle. You caught a fairy in a bottle. When your life energy runs out and when you and you collapse from exhaustion, this fairy will replenish your strength. So, and we can also use it immediately if we want to by pressing the item that we set it to, or the slot that we set it to. So yeah, now we have a way to... Uh, so if we die or want to heal, uh, so if we die, the fairy will give us back our life. If we use it, it will also give us back our life, but we'll probably be wor more worth having it restore us when we die. If we just touch one that's out in the wild, it will also just heal you. But now it's time to go into this big boss room. Through this big boss door, that is. This, I believe, is called Goma, probably. Ah, uh, we need to use our grapple hook to cling on to Velu's tail and swing across. Doing this causes the ceiling to drop down and break part of uh, Goma's armor. 
Also, while it's doing this, we need to be careful of the lava flying everywhere, I believe. Okay, very nice. And, oh, maybe this is this bit. I don't know. Anyway, we need to do this again. Come on. Go. Swing! Slightly burnt, but it's okay. This is what we have a fairy for. Its armor is not looking too good right now. There's also some pots on the sides of the room if you need some more health. And I think some of the platforms also have pots with health in them. Okay. Oh my goodness. Don't hurt me. Please, 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 please. Third time's a charm. Okay, its ar armor is broken now, but also the thing hanging from the, 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 the rock on the ceiling is broken now. So now we just need to use our grappling hook while targeting its eye to pull it in nice and close and do some damage. Be careful of its claws that it's going to try to hiss with. And there we go. Okay, after a boss is defeated, it gives us a heart container, which increases our health by one, and our health is replenished. And also, we have a wind portal, which will let us out of the out of the, the dungeon. Link. Well, Prince Kamali, Kamali, don't you have something to you want to say? Um, I heard everything from Medley. Link, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Link. You will, Kamali. I just know it, right, Link? So, Link, here. I want you to take this, Link. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. You received Din's Pearl! This is the gem the Rito's claim was passed down from the Great Goddess. The Great Valu is grateful to you, Link. Use the wind god's wind? That's what he said, but I don't understand. What? I wonder what it means. The wind god's wind. I wonder if that, if what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine that's through the, that tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. The great Valu also names you, Link, a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Link, you really are a hero. Well, I'm going to go and visit Valu. I'll come and see you sometime. With the best pair of wings ever. 
Hey, Prince Kamali. Thanks so much, Link. See you again someday. And so, there we go. Our first dungeon down. Not counting the Forsaken Fortress, which is kind of, te technically a dungeon, so. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.